approximately one out of every 1,000 children is born profoundly deaf. The only known way to help such children develop their hearing sense is by providing them with cochlear implants, which have proven to be tremendously successful at restoring speech communication for the hearing impaired. However, cochlear implants are not as useful at enabling deaf people to perceive and recognize music. Children with cochlear implants generally have poorer pitch perception and production abilities than their normal hearing peers. Auditory habilitation is an important process which is used to help recipients of cochlear implants adapt to their implants, but this requires a great deal of time and cost. Existing systems for auditory habilitation generally focus on speech habilitation and neglect music habilitation, leaving these children with little ability to understand and perceive music. MOGAT is an existing mobile game that is designed to enhance musical habilitation for children with cochlear implants. However, critical analysis of this application revealed some areas in which it was suboptimal for use with children. Young people utilizing MOGAT were not able to use it on their own, but rather needed assistance from adults, possibly due to a lack of familiarity with abstract objects such as circles and graphs, which are present in the app. Additionally, MOGAT presented relatively large quantities of information simultaneously and utilized long sections of text, both of which could increase the cognitive load for its users and which may have contributed to the difficulty that children had with the app. We have designed a new system for enhancing musical habilitation in children and which is easier for young people to use on their own. This system is called Singing and Ear Training for Children with Cochlear Implants with a mobile application, Sikima. Sikima has three games to help children train their musical pitch perception and production skills. Xylophone, an introductory game that familiarizes the user with the interface. High-Low, a game which trains the user to perceive pitch intervals. And Sing and Roll, a game which trains the user to produce single, specific pitches with their voice. This interface was designed to include elements with which the children are already familiar, such as colored balls and bubbles, in order to avoid the issue of the users having difficulty understanding novel abstract concepts within the game. Additionally, Sakima incorporates cognitive considerations, such as animated help instructions and minimal use of text, in order to help children learn the games easily. An iterative design process was used so that the interface could be improved based on user feedback. In total, four rounds of user studies and design revisions were performed. This is a demonstration of our user study. A comparative study between MOGAT and Sakima was conducted to assess the intuitiveness and effectiveness of the new interface. The study showed that there were fewer unnecessary taps on the new interface. The games were understood better by the students and were played with less randomness. The feedback provided by the application to the users was more effective, and the children needed minimal assistance to play the games. This study suggests that Sakima is more intuitive and easier for children to use than MOGAT, and that our design considerations may also be helpful in future work towards designing applications for children with cochlear implants.